Hey, I'm Nikath Long Gamer, and welcome back to Chef Life, a restaurant game. And this is episode number two of our brand new Let's Play series. Now, this game just came out on Steam over the last couple of days. So if you have not checked it out yet, please take a moment, do so. But also, I need your help with the algorithm for this series, as I do have a smaller channel here on YouTube, and the algorithm does absolutely no love without your assistance. The likes and the comments are the difference maker to get this pushed out there and the first three episodes are where the algorithm really matter the most so i will not ask you other than the generic one at the end of the episode but i will not ask you again after the first three episodes but if you can take that moment hit that like button leave some sort of comment regarding what you want to see with the series what you would like me to specialize in the restaurant or let me know that you are excited to see a let's play of this uh, or just simply algorithm comment is sufficient but let's go ahead and get on with the game now three days in we have prepared ourselves for the grand opening we've gone through the majority of the tutorial that you're going to see but you'll find out here in a moment that there are going to be some additional things introduced as we go into our grand opening day which will be day number four. Wrapping up that third day, Max says, thanks for the meal. It was simple food, but it really hit the spot. You'll have clients line up, lining up around the block for sure. Kasim, for a practice service, it went really well. Gives me a lot of confidence for the grand opening. Now that our guest has gone, it's time to clean up the kitchen. It's the evening ritual. I still have a couple of things to take care of before we open, so I'll leave you to it. Well, Tomorrow is the big day. I'll meet you here at noon. Get some rest in the meantime. Good night. I like how you have preferences that you can alter. Calm service means you're going to get more time. Fewer customers is going to make things generally easier to get through in a day. Cooking assistance will keep you from having things burn. That one is turned on automatically, but let's keep the realism up. We'll turn that one off. For now, recipe reminders will be handy to, to keep me going on what it is I need to do. So I'll, I'll keep that on a little bit longer, but eventually turn that one off. Otherwise, aiming for the realism. Now, ultimately, spending more money on ingredients is costlier. It's gonna cut into our profits. However, it's the way forward. It's the way to grow having that responsibility score being higher, people will appreciate that and will grow faster, which means we'll have more customers, which means ultimately we'll make more money, but also I think we'll level up faster and have better recipes as a result as well. So we might as well just immediately get on with buying local. I'll have your order soon. All right, so a couple changes to the layout. And in the meantime, let's get on with what we need for the day. You can see from the very top, right now it's morning. Other employees come in for the midday and then the bell is where we have the evening service. But in the meantime, let's visit our office for the first time where we open up a whole new set of elements to the game and what it is that uh, we are doing here with the restaurant. First thing is we have a catalog. You can see tabs across the top, kitchen, dining room, structure, character, plating. Uh, we also have additional tabs at the top of the page with various types. We have workstations, we have worktops, cookware, counters, walls, and floors just within the kitchen. So a lot, a whole, lot of customization options uh, upgrade options that really really change the outcome uh, and, and the look and the feel of your restaurant and really makes it your own some of them are also going to come with various things like uh, badges elements that are going to help you along the way so it's not just visual upgrades on the computer, we also have a number of tabs across the top and various information contained within each of these. Also some options that exist out there. So we have feedback on our previous service. The city tab 
uh, gives you information on characters that we're going to know and interact with throughout. So far, it's just Max in that area. Then we have our team. We do have a growing staff over time. We're going to have actually more coming in in the city department later today, uh, soon enough here. But Kasim comes in just level one, even though we apparently have history with each other. It's our first time working together. Therefore, we have to start from scratch and build up a relationship. And Kasim's not going to do much until we've built that up a bit. For now, they show up at noon, midday. Then we have our profile. For the moment, we are a level two. You can't see it behind the face cam, but a level two rookie chef with an account balance of 191. Of course, we've already paid for our ingredients for today. And at the moment, we have two knowledge points from which we could unlock a new recipe potentially. But here's a big one. This, this is the uh, restaurant and its overall kind of ratings and where we grow from. Here we have basic information. The restaurant, now named DG's Eatery, has technically been open for four days. I don't care for that because really this is day number one, but okay, that's fine. We've played the game for four days. Casual cuisine is what we are recognized for right now in terms of style of food, but as we unlock new recipes and get more complex, that will change. Our menu price is neutral. Our most ordered dish is the Soleil and our distinctions. Well, there's nothing at the moment, but we have our customer profile. We have one regular customer. That's the yellow, which uh, for each of those slots, it counts as one customer. So this is what we would daily get in terms of clientele. We have one regular. Uh, we have overall three customers that we would see on the day and our dining room capacity for the moment can uh, accommodate 10 customers. That would be a lot for me at the moment. We have our general hygiene, which the restaurant is seen as clean right now. And then we have the responsibility score. And that is quite high based on the ingredients that I ordered. This, uh, our team is going to work faster and my success motivates the team. It's going to level them up faster. We also have an office chair that we can use to speed time up and get kind of straight to things when we're ready to so we don't have to wait. Preparing for the day, I'm going to go ahead and do more than what I was able to do last time. And Kasim, who's just arrived, has a message for us. Well, this is it. Tonight is showtime. We've been working for months and we're finally opening. Now that everything is ready, I can take my place as a chef in the kitchen, which means you can assign tasks to me. Beginning our food prep for the day, I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of soles ready. I don't know what customer base I'm going to get, but having these ready for the day will make a big difference. Fantastic menu today. So my plan is to get two of every type ready and then We'll have what we have. I think the food gets used up regardless. So whatever we put out for the day is going to be used. So having more prepared is being more prepared. And it's going to save us a lot of time when dishes are actually ordered so that we can get them ready in adequate uh, time and keep customers happy. So for now, there are two soleils ready to go. Also going to go ahead and boil some green beans. I'm going to go ahead and grab a second uh, saucepan and do the same thing over here so we can have two sauces ready. That's nearly done, so we don't have long here, but in the meantime, I can grab a couple mozzarella. There we go. First one's ready. Get this cleaned up in the meantime. So we can take a second and get the mozzarella chopped up.
Oh, I need seasoning as I go. Okay. I'm prepared for that. I see a lot of salt. We will prepare one more as well. We're only going to have three customers, but we easily can have a repeat order. Okay, missing a lot of salt, as expected. That doesn't mean we need three. Two was perfect. I think I just heard somebody at the door. All right, hey, we've got two of those guys ready to go now. Is this the new restaurant? I just came to welcome you to our beautiful city. I'll try to come and eat here in the next few days. Can't wait to see what you have on the menu. Okay, random encounter. And back to prep work. Uh, we have everything we need on this one. The sauces are made. The green beans are ready. Yeah, we're oh, the green beans aren't for this one. So let's let's prepare what we can now for this steak with shallots. We can keep the shallots and the potatoes or the cut fries in the refrigerator. We can keep the steaks in the refrigerator. So we'll we'll get that far. So couple potatoes and shallots. Wait, he pushed me. Couple potatoes, couple shallots. Take care of these first. Once you've done it a couple times, the prep work's not bad. The first time you do it, it takes you a moment for sure. We have another shelf. Uh, we will find out soon enough if there's room for more. This should be quick considering how clean the restaurant is already. But that looks full, doesn't it? That does look full. Okay, so that's all we have room for. Preparing one steak would, would not take long, though. So I think we are now ready for tonight. Did I forget to add the butter? They've got X's. They've got X's. Uh, do I even have trash? Of, I do have a trash. Let's make that again. Sure, we're grabbing the right things here. Good thing I'm getting faster. And good thing I'm starting to notice the little things. Couldn't get the other one. Oh, hey, I decided to hire a head server to manage the service staff. I'll help her out today so she can get up and running quickly. Ah, here she is. It's Perry. Hi, Chef. I'm Perry. Nice to meet you. I'll take care of everything in the dining room. I'll manage the servers and the customer service. So you can focus on the kitchen and only the kitchen. Speaking of customers, they'll start arriving soon. Got to go and get ready. All right, so there is our second uh, individual oh, packaging. Huh, okay. Hadn't been to that station before. No, that's just how it comes out. Do they not need ingredients at this point? There is nothing to add. Okay. I threw them out needlessly. They were fine. <laughs> they were prepared as they need to be prepared. It's because they haven't been fully cooked as of yet. I gotcha. It wasn't about the butter. They weren't cooked. They're not supposed to be cooked yet. I bought them hot. Duh. It's time, and we are prepared as we could be prepared. I even had my own freak out moment of re-preparing something that was already prepared, but the X scared me. <laughs> Needlessly so. It was 
totally fine, but it's time. Service is available. That's it. Everything's ready. Time to open the doors. I can't believe it. We're actually opening our own restaurant, just like we dreamed of in culinary school. I know we have what it takes to become one of the best restaurants around. We can do it. Open for business for real this time. Service has started. And there is our first customer. That was the guy we spoke to earlier today. He has arrived and now it's just a matter of what is his order and how fast can I get it out to him and make it properly, of course. Now he's still looking at the menu, making up his mind. Give it his order to the server. Writing it down, coming over. And he has a ticket. He's gonna place the ticket on the, the counter and there open. it is. Okay. So we need the flowered soleil. Green beans are ready. We need a hot pan. Power on. Okay, now we're gonna need the olive oil and the butter. Yes, it is sufficiently hot. Let's get started. Nothing else to make right now, so we can focus entirely on this task. And as we go to enter the second phase, we can add the butter. There you go. No seasoning to do on this one. And let's check in on everything else. Still no additional customers. And we are doing good on the time. What do we need to serve with it? The green beans. And with that ready, still nobody else has come in, so we're still good on this. We will serve the dish. It's got an A+. Plus. It's going out in plenty of time, so we've done well with this one. You should get a nice tip. Nice plating, chef. Makes you want to eat it. And two more customers arrive. We should have their orders coming fairly soon. And we are prepared for one more soleil. A couple salads. And half prepared for two steaks. One and a half steaks, anyway, are prepared. Only three customers for the first day, as that is all the reputation that we have at this stage. So this is gonna be it. These two customers will do it. You order. Okay, salad and another soleil. Now that salad we can get out very quick, but we need to get the uh, soleil ready. Let's go ahead and get that frying pan out of here and grab another frying pan. And let's get it hot. Have our soleil. We need the uh, butter and the olive oil. The salad is is ready to go, so that's going to be very quick. Okay, we have green beans, so no problem there. Okay, excellent. We'll serve that. It's ready. That's nearly ready, so let's go ahead and grab the uh, green beans. Final dish of the evening is served. That looks delicious, chef. Positive feedback already. <laughs> and we've made it through the day. Great service, plus tips. I don't remember what the exact total was, but we spent 40 something and we earned 69 out of the day. So uh, about 25, I think I decided I was going to call it dollars. So $25 in profit for the day. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. We are spending more, but it's going to make our employees better, happier. And we want that right from the get go. Everything's rated 20 out of 20. 
that's going to help us improve quite rapidly and get to, you know, four customers sooner rather than later. Oh no, responsibility down? Well, that's not good. <laughs> cleaning up. I thought that would be, you know, the right thing to do. Next time I won't touch that and see what happens. Any leftovers on the warmer. See if we get a responsibility drop. The stock room, the store room is closed uh, during the regular business hours. Now I do have some time and See, there's leftovers in there, but I'm not going to throw those out because apparently that's going to hurt our responsibility score. I could, now that we are level three, add the next, the next recipe, which is orange carrot and mint consomme. And as that is progression, we're of course going to go ahead and add that in. All right, so this is the summer soup. Do I have the ingredients already? I'd like to practice it now before we get into the next day. No, it's all on unavailable. Unavailable, so we're gonna have to call it a day. All right, so we've come into work. It's day number five. We've got a new recipe that needs practice. I do not have the ingredients at the moment though. to order what we need for the day. Uh, I'm gonna, I can't put it on the menu until I've practiced it. Yeah, it won't let me add it until I've practiced it. I wanted to practice it and put it on the menu today. Our responsibility score is already high. If we split up our order, we could just keep a high responsibility level without constantly increasing it. Let's see what that does. That cuts down on the cost a little bit, puts us right at 40. I do the rounds of the suppliers and then deliver to you. Because we should already have a high responsibility score. Let's see if that's the case. Yes, yeah, see, we already have a, a perfect responsibility score. So now we can afford to just order normal and just make sure that the responsibility score doesn't drop and I, I think if we order a little bit I don't know if it has a natural decay I suppose we can find out hygiene's high and we're up we are up to four customers now so we have already made it to four customers in just day number two and that is the food stocked for the day but it's it's based on the menu that we have uh, but let, let's go ahead and practice the new one so that we can get it on the menu. And if we can get it in time this morning, we might be able to make an additional order. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. All right, so the carrot juice, you can stop the blender anytime and then add in seasoning. While that's mixing, I need to start some of my food prep for the day. We're going to do the same sort of thing we did on the previous day, but now if we're going to be adding... I don't know. Um, I suppose... Well, let's get our recipes pinned for one thing. We're gonna need another mixing table sooner rather than later. Uh, sooner rather than later, I could tell. But we can make a sauce. Okay, that's nearly done. I'm gonna make sure to stir both of those here at some point. 
Yes, we want to take the whole tray. Put that in the fridge. Oh my gosh, how much room is that going to take? That's going to take up a lot of space, isn't it? That's three. That's more than enough for it. That was not done cor correctly. That was not done correctly. Yeah, responsibility down. I know, I know. Did not run the timing right on that. First one's okay. It's done. It was a little late on the stirring, but we got the done. We we got it in in time. Space is limited for sure. Look at that. Oh man. Uh, but we're gonna use that up because it's not going on the menu necessarily today. What am I doing on time? It's mid-afternoon and we have not finished our test dish. We will try to finish it in time. I'm trying to also get prepared for the day. And those two are prepared. Is there room in the fridge for both at this point? Find out here in a moment. Yes, there is. Looks like we've got one slot remaining. I could prepare it as three bowls and put it in, but we need the cucumber slices. Okay, so let's get the cucumber slices. All right, well, with that, it's available. I don't know if I can put it on the menu yet, can I? Oh, hello. Estimated number of meals served tonight. We're gonna have a couple soleils, one caprice, and a beef. More likely, does it mean that it's going to be, but I cannot change the menu right now. So we can unpin this for now. Okay, I need to get green beans boiled. The restaurant is already spotless. A quick mop is all it needs. The caprice is ready. And then we need to get one beef and potatoes kind of going. There we go. Okay, that's boiling, that's ready. All right, it is that time. Looks like it actually pauses the timer, so you can still get ready, even though you're not necessarily fully ready. That's that's a good thing. But let's go ahead and get into our second day being open to the public with four customers today instead of three. Just standing around staring at them. That's gonna make them feel really comfortable, I'm sure. The new table has ordered. Okay, salad. Wait for that to heat up before we start. There we go. Butter in during the first phase. That's ready now. Okay, we can leave that be for a while. And we will get the salad ready. And that's ready to serve. Okay, we need our green beans. And just like that, we are halfway through our day. We got those out pretty quick, so looking good so far. Now, one thing we have not prepared yet, as we didn't have any room in the fridge. Assume that somebody's going to order the beef steak here shortly. Yep, those guys are here. Okay. 
Okay, first customers are done and leaving and our last set of customers ready to go. You ordered to fit in. Okay, we got the fish and we have a rare steak and potatoes. So we got our steak, we got our soleil, gonna get the chopped shallots, gonna need that. And we're gonna need two pans. Okay, we need one turned on in advance. And we're gonna need another butter. And olive oil. Now let's go in during the first phase. We are going to need to season this one as well. Okay, shallots in at the right time. Let's get the seasoning done. A lot of salt plus black pepper. I don't have the black pepper. We also need to flip. To the seasoning. Should have sense. Not enough salt. Perfect. Okay, and we're in the first phase. So let's get out of there and get it. That's nearly done. Get the uh, fryer turned on. That's ready. That's hot. That started, that's not gonna take long. Let's go grab the green beans. It'll be done in just a second. We'll have both both meals up and ready and done in time. Be nice if you could kind of just place both, do both and then serve, but that's okay. Done. In time. Four meals out. All done in time. That makes me happy. Very happy. Plus 102 experience. We've been paid. We've increased our loyal customers. We got a very good rating. Despite cheap ingredients. We spent exactly 40 on food today. We got back 84. So plus 44 overall. And We've got a new recipe ready to put on the menu for tomorrow. That is fantastic progress. We've been open for two days and we have so far kept the customers happy and improved the product. That is going to do it for this episode though. If you didn't take the time at the beginning of the episode, please take a moment, drop below, click that like button, leave a comment. It really, really helps with the algorithm to get this one out there. And if you have not done so yet, please check this out on the Steam page as it is available now. And this is a wonderful, wonderful restaurant simulation game, cooking simulation game. The depth is phenomenal. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there and bye for now.